Hey y'all, we're over here at the shop. We're gonna have a fun one today. We actually have a brush mowing job. So we're gonna hook up the brush hog onto the front of the skidster and we're gonna start tearing into some brush finally. Uh, we have a client who, uh, his daughter's getting married and he has this beautiful piece of property and the piece that he wants cut is just between these rows of pine trees. I mean, it could actually be absolutely gorgeous. I think it's been brushed before uh, or brush hog before, but it's definitely due for a cleanup. So what we're gonna go do is tear through that and then we're gonna also load up the grapple bucket onto the trailer as well because there are some large railroad ties and rocks that he just kind of needs relocated on the property just to make it more accommodating for when guests show up for this wedding so this one's going to be kind of interesting kind of fun and i'll get some good clips that you can see uh, us putting that brush hog to work This thing is, we actually only have to go about five miles down the road for where their property is. So, yes, we need to strap everything right, but we don't have to be like, you know, super worried about this thing flying off on the highway. But definitely want to make sure that thing's strapped down before you start tilting this thing backwards. She's loaded. Let's hit the road. Oh, we're gonna need one of these today. Oh yeah, mango's where it's at. Celsius. Pick stop real quick. I have a roofer that always wants to pay in cash. Yeah, look at that, Freaking hilarious. Always wants to pay in cash, even though I claim all my income. It's just how he does business. So he told me that he was gonna hide some cash for me. And it's literally on the path to my next job. So, well, we got that cash. Get out of here. Can't believe you even labeled it. Not Cummins that could not. Oh, shiznits. We're gonna need some four wheel drive for that. I knew she had it in her. That was a little spooky. All right, we made it. It's all that matters. Let me show you this field. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. You gotta use your imagination a little bit. Keep in mind, he just bought this beautiful piece of property. He got it an absolute steal. I think we've got about seven or eight acres here. I, it's kind of one of those things you can't wait to retire and have, uh, especially out here. But take a look at this, okay? This line of pine trees that probably somebody planted years ago, okay? You've got a beautiful line of pine trees here, and you have a beautiful line of pine trees on that end over there. And then on the back side, there's also pine trees. But then you have all this brush in between that's just kind of, yeah, there. It looks like somebody blazed a trail here not too long ago, but... Yeah, it definitely needs some maintenance. So the deal is his daughter's engaged and she, you know, came out to visit her dad, see, you know, his beautiful new house and everything. And she just kept looking at this field over here and goes, well, dad, I think it'd be beautiful if we had the wedding here. What do you think? And of course, just like any dad, oh, honey, yeah, whatever you want. And then he turned around and goes, holy crap, I got a lot of work to do. So. That's where we're stepping in. So we're going to get this taken care of. We're going to get this thing off the trailer. And we're probably going to spend the most time brush mowing that. But then I know he has a couple other things he wants us to take care of. So let's do it. Right, so we're doing things a little out of order here. I ended up uh, 
getting everything unloaded right when the customer rolled up and he saw that I already had the grapple bucket on. And so he said, you see all these railroad ties that are lining my driveway? We actually dug them all out of the ground. And what we're now gonna do is load them all up in the bucket and we're gonna take it over to that red shed over there and we're gonna drop them in a particular spot because he wants to be able to maintain this area because believe it or not, under all this grass is gravel that just what I would call disappearing rock. It wasn't done right. So it's just all overcrowded now. I guess this used to be a big parking pad probably for an RV or a boat, whatever it was. But now he just wants to get rid of all these railroad ties that kind of get in the way of him maintaining the grounds. And we're gonna move them and then we'll go move on to some brush cutting after that. So we got them all cleaned out. So now they're all going to remove the entire, whoop, that entire area. Those were all railroad ties that were buried in there. So those are all gone. And now we'll move on to the brush mowing. Let's swap that bad boy with this bad boy.
drew some thick pieces. Didn't even bog it down. All over the place. All right, guys. There it is. It is a buzzed down field now. So play football on this thing, honestly. Holy cow. So as you can see, most of this was really just grass and brush. There wasn't a lot of thick stuff in here. So we might come in here later with uh, some trimmers and maybe knock down some of the stuff that just kind of stuck up. Um, but otherwise, this section of the uh, property is probably nearly done. We'll have finished mowers eventually come in here and really get it nice. Um, obviously, he's going to want to do that before his uh, daughter's wedding. But the hard part's done. And pretty impressed with this mower. I'm treating it more like a finishing field mower than I am like a trailblazer that you would use, you know, in the woods. But, I mean, it, it performed pretty well. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Uh, you know, I went over things a couple times to really mulch it up and Jenkins makes a pretty solid mower and I mean considering how small this brush mower is compared to bigger ones I've used it still did the job in I mean no time. That's That's the best part. You'll probably notice in some of my clips that um, the, they're, the property owner is walking around taking photos taking videos He actually used to be my old cross-country and track coach and the cool thing is super supportive of my business He's always um, Shouting my name out to people and then he's like hey come take care of this field for me And I'll videotape all kinds of stuff and document it and then you know share it with social media Try to get you know as you as much attention as you can. I know he's about to he doesn't even coach anymore He's about to go um, watch somebody do a marathon that I used to run, run with in high school. Um, so he's still supporting all of us, all of us guys and girls, even well after he's been done coaching for uh, years. So yeah, he's you'll see him in those clips. I even said, hey, watch you know watch the blade, uh, you know don't get too close. But just like any man would say, he's like, oh I'll be okay. I'm just gonna get some good video. So you'll see him in some of those clips i'm sure but let's get to the back it's part of the property i know there's a little bit more he wants me to get cleared but uh, this is all in a good day's work
going home. I'm gonna be fashionably late to my own house. I was supposed to be home at six. It's past six, so I gotta get home because we've got some friends coming by and I wanna see them. But that's it. I love that. I love that setup. The Kubota combined with that grapple. Both of those products are Jenkins. I've got a Jenkins grapple and a Jenkins uh, brush mower. I love them. I know everybody has their brand preference, so let me know what you're running on your machine and what you're doing. Well, let me know what you're using your own uh, skidsters or mini excavators for and tell me if I'm just absolutely just using it in incorrectly. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I truly would love to know your opinion. But anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Make sure you're subscribed so I can catch you guys in future videos and then go ahead and give that a like if you can and start that discussion in the comments. Let me know what you think. Catch you next time, guys.